Welcome to Wild of the World and you're still joining our epic world trip where we ended up in the Caribbean. We saw some other islands and came to this little beauty. This is Grenada. But like I said, we already saw a lot of adventure in Martinique. Chilled between the Pitons of St. Lucia. And we totally went back to nature in Tobago. There are of course so many accommodations to choose from on Grenada, but I think we chose the perfect one. This feels like a little camping with some cottages next to the beach. This is Lance O'Epine Cottages. And if you ask me, this is already one of the best beaches in Grenada. The water is calm, clear, and in fact, this bay is just one fantastic large swimming pool. There are about 10 bungalows located on this beach in the middle of nature. I can't believe it myself, but this is where we're staying. It's called the Hummingbird Cottage. It's only 20 meters from the beach, looking out over the sea. And let me show you the inside. Lance O. Epine has been owned by the same family since the 1970s. You can see that they kept the same style of the 60s and 70s in the cottages. Guys! It's such an amazing day, the sun is shining and we're on Grenada. Time to see the island. And we rented a car at YNR Grenada Car Rental, a local company. So let's go. Whoop. And first we visit the capital with a beautiful location, St. George. Just like a lot of other Caribbean islands, Grenada has also been a European colony, English and also French. In 1705, this fort, Fort George, was built and it represents this time the best. So you can see a little bit of history of Grenada in Fort George. As we walk around the walls of this 18th century fortress, you can imagine yourself a bit in the pirate era and what it would have been like when an enemy ship appeared on the horizon. But you also get one of the best views in Grenada, on the hundreds of colored houses of St. George. Near St. George is already one of the best beaches you can find on Grenada and it has a lot of them. This is Grand Anse, a beautiful white beach. At 
Ted's grand answer, tourism and local life go hand in hand. And not only in the dozens of nice bars around the beach, but also when Jens makes a lot of new friends. This is also the area where all the restaurants and bars are at night. So when the sun begins to set around 5 o'clock, it's time for Caribbean happy hour. On Grenada we're staying on the south side of the island, where the restaurants are, beautiful beaches, but if you want to see the lush and incredible nature, you have to go over on the east side. Today we make a little road trip, see some waterfalls, go into the woods and visit this beautiful beach. It's La Sagesse. Only nature here and just us. La Sagesse is a lovely, unspoiled beach surrounded by nature. It was recently voted by the Sunday Times as number three of the most beautiful natural beaches in the world. We drive a little bit more up north towards Mount Carmel and deep down in the jungle are the Mount Carmel Falls, amongst them the highest waterfall of Grenada. But also some smaller ones where you can jump and slide off them. So let's have some fun and do that. After a hike of only 20 minutes we see a waterfall that could easily appear in a fairy tale book. And from there we walk to the swimming paradise full of natural slides. And again we also see a lot of local life, because this is the community pool of the village and their local bathhouse too. Jens was a bit scared at first, but after the first time he wanted to slide all day. Every morning we wake up wonderfully, with all kinds of curious animals around us. It's another day in paradise. Grenada is beautiful again, the sun is shining, and we move towards Grand Etang National Park. And over there are some nice waterfalls, a big lake, and we can wander around in the jungle.
How awesome was that, guys? There were three monkeys around the car when we drove away from the lake. And Jens was in the front seat watching his favorite zoo animals in real life. And we're throwing bananas. Uh, and from there, we uh, drove up to Seven Sisters Waterfalls uh, to make a little hike in nature. Walking away, your words are lost on me. It's taking everything. So almost at the end of this episode we come to the climax. Perhaps the most beautiful jungle waterfalls we have ever seen. Hidden deeply inside the rainforest. The Seven Sisters. I can see it now. Hey, when I lose. But if I'm gonna lose you. I'm like, oh shit, I've been doing this a long time Lost in my head, I don't care, I'm not gonna lose it I'm not gonna lose this I'm up all day, all night, be playing our last fight Now in hindsight, I don't care, I'm not gonna lose it I'm not gonna lose it We got back to the bungalow to spend one more day here at the beach but then it's time to leave Grenada because tomorrow we're flying towards the USA. It's just the end of this episode, not the end of our world trip. We're gonna rent a camper in Florida, baby. That's it for our trip through the Caribbean. But we still have a whole year of traveling ahead of us. So first off, the USA. So I'll see you soon and keep following us.